Hello, guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be very informative for those who haven't earned any college degree but are skillful at the same time. Let me tell you that you don't need a college degree to earn a great living. Today, I am revealing the top 10 high-paying jobs you can get without spending years in college. Patrol Officer Alright, folks, let's kick things off with a classic. Coming in hot at number 10, Patrol Officer. Now, you might be thinking, what, cops make bank? Well, buckle up. Our trusty patrol officers earn a solid median salary of $64,610. Not too shabby, right? And guess what? Almost everyone's employed in this gig with an unemployment rate of just 09. But wait, there's more. If you're thinking of rocking that badge, by 2031, there'll be 21,500 new job openings. So, the future's looking bright, my friends. But what's the catch? Well, for starters, you gotta have at least a high school diploma. Some big shot departments or those fancy federal agencies might ask for some college or even a degree. So, aspiring heroes, if you've got the heart and hustle this gig could be your next big break. Flight Attendant Alright, let's take this to the skies with a touch of flair. Ever daydreamed about soaring through the skies and getting paid for it? Let's chat about one of the coolest gigs around. The Flight Attendant these high flyers do more than just hand out snacks at 30,000 feet. They're the beating heart of an airplane, ensuring passengers are comfy, fed, and safe. When you're watching movies or napping, they're bustling about tidying cabins and prepping for the next set of travelers. The big airlines? Yep, they trust these pros to handle most of the passenger services. Talk about responsibility. And get this, besides not needing a college degree, one of the sweetest perks. They fly for free, plus loads of other company goodies. Imagine spontaneous weekend getaways without breaking the bank. With an average salary of $61,000 and just a high school diploma in your pocket, this job sounds like a high-flying deal, doesn't it? So, if you've got the spirit of adventure and don't mind living out of a suitcase, the sky's the limit. Literally. Okay folks, let's dive into number 8 on our list, the trusty plumber. Now, before you raise an eyebrow, hear me out. Much like electricians, plumbers rake in a pretty penny. And guess what? No bachelor's degree needed. Nope, not even close. Many start their journey at a trade school or through private organizations, gaining a plumber's license with just a couple years of hands-on training. And the cherry on top. Those tech schools don't usually come with the dreaded student loan cloud hovering over your head. And hey, if you're looking to wear the entrepreneurial hat with the right experience, you can even set up your own plumbing business. A yearly income of around $60,000? Now, that's a deal that doesn't drain your wallet. At number 7, we're diving into the world of bricks. No, not Lego, but real, solid bricks. Enter the realm of the brick mason. Ever seen a brick wall and thought, wow, that's more than just stacked blocks? Yep. That's a brick mason's magic. They're not just about laying bricks. They're artists blending bricklaying with a dash of architecture to give us both functional and good-looking structures. Now, if you're thinking about picking up the trowel and mortar, here's the good news, all you need is a high school diploma and some good old apprenticeship experience. No fancy degree necessary. And the pay? A pretty solid $48,000 annually. Not bad for crafting the buildings we live, work, and play in, right? Real estate agent. Rolling out the red carpet for those unsung heroes in the property world, the real estate agents are on the sixth number in my list. These aren't just folks in stylish suits showing off houses. They're your guides to navigating the complex property maze. Imagine wanting to buy or sell a house. You're excited but probably a tad overwhelmed, right? That's where the magic of real estate agents comes in. They're the gurus of their local market, always having a pulse on the community's ins and outs. Whether you're wondering how to price your beloved childhood home or itching to know the perfect time to grab those house keys for a new place, these agents have got you covered. Now, if you're curious about the money involved, in 2021, the middle-of-the-road real estate agents earned around $48,340. But for those who truly master the craft, the top 25% raked in $75,940, while the ones just starting off or in quieter markets took home about $35,880. Taxi Driver Zooming right into our top spot. 
Let's talk about those road warriors we often take for granted the taxi drivers. These champs are more than just folks behind the wheel. They're our unscheduled chauffeurs turning every destination into a mini road trip. So, what's their deal? Taxi drivers are all about getting you from point A to point B. Simple, right? But not always easy in traffic, rain, or when your pickup spot is in the most obscure corner of the city. While many might have a high school diploma, it's not a must-have to kickstart this career. But here's the catch, you do need some training under your belt, usually a week or two, depending on the taxi company you're aiming to ride with. Default text also, getting a taxi license is often part of the game, and a squeaky clean driving record is usually a must-have. In terms of the cash flow, taxi drivers, on average, clocked in a salary of around $29,310. But with an expected 36,600 new job openings by 2031, it's a wheel game that's set to roll for a while. Firefighter, blazing onto our list at number 4, meet the real-life heroes, firefighters. With a median salary of $50,700 and a super low unemployment rate of 1%, they're not just in demand. They're essential. By 2031, we're looking at about 13,900 fresh spots for brave souls to join the ranks. So, what's the drill? Most firefighters need at least a high school diploma and some training in emergency services. Beyond that, there's a gauntlet of tests written, physical, and even drug tests plus interviews and training at a fire academy. Some places even ask for an EMT certification. And their main gig, they rush headfirst into danger, battling flames and performing emergency tasks to save lives. Hats off! Solar Photovoltaic Installer Lighting up our conversation is the Solar Photovoltaic Installer, with a median salary of $46,470. As the green wave rides high, there will be around 4,600 new job openings popping up by 2031 for this role. Want in? The road to becoming one usually starts with a high school diploma. If you're keen on adding some extra flair, you can also hit up courses at local community colleges or technical schools. Once you're in, expect about a year of hands-on training. What's the daily grind like? These pros are all about harnessing the sun's power, setting up and looking after rooftop solar panels, turning that sweet sunlight into usable energy. Talk about bright prospects. Fitness worker, flexing their way onto our list is the fitness worker, boasting a median salary of $30,930. The fitness world is bustling, with an impressive 85,800 job openings anticipated by 2031. So, how do you pump up your resume for this gig? A high school diploma or its equivalent will set the foundation. Once you're in, expect some on-the-job training, especially if you're diving into the realm of recreation. These champs are all about crafting and leading activities to keep folks both entertained and in tip-top shape. But wait, there's a bit more to it. If you're zooming into a specialized area of fitness, be it yoga, height, or aqua aerobics, you'll likely need an extra certification. Your main mission? Guiding eager participants through workouts, helping them boost strength, flexibility, and stamina. Get ready to inspire and be inspired. Electrician. Charging up our list with a spark is the electrician, pulling in a median salary of a bright $60,040. And the future's looking pretty electrifying, especially with a whopping 50,200 job openings on the horizon by 2031. But how do you plug into this field? While you might not need a degree, most states want to see that license in your toolkit. Whether you pick up your skills from a technical school or decide to apprentice under a seasoned pro, you'll definitely need a high school diploma or its equivalent to start. So there you have it. Remember, success isn't always about formal education. It's about passion, experience, and finding the right path for you. Subscribe for more insights and tips. More insights and tips.